I think we've just got to be brave enough to say horrendous mistakes were made. We have to be brave enough to learn from them. But our leaders at the time, they're the ones who've really got to accept they got some stuff wrong. And at the moment, I worry that we're not seeing that. We were discussing earlier that we were all agreed that there was a period in the beginning where we were all anxious or scared or a combination of both. But the, it, the problem was that it was then drawn out. We went out of that period of not knowing into knowing. And we knew that it was different than had been first been feared, but there didn't seem to be a change in the response. But my, my question is, we know that um, unprecedented though the, the pandemic was for our generation, the World Health Organization had suggested that when it came to a pandemic, should there be one, uh, that quarantining the healthy, because there was no such word as lockdown, I don't think, quarantining the healthy was a bad idea, and that uh, pandemic plans uh, across Europe here as well were broadly similar and were quite simple. It was targeted help for the vulnerable and, and washing hands, yeah. but, but not locking down. Why do you think, why did we, why were all of those plans cast aside and a Chinese model followed? I, I think actually a total failure of courageous leadership at the first sign of what turned out to be some, some more, yet further, appalling modelling that came out of the likes of Neil Ferguson and out of Imperial College. And I was really struck by an article by Fraser Nelson in The Telegraph the other day, and he said, emails have now come out of, from health officials in Sweden. And when they saw that it was Neil Ferguson making these forecasts, they said, don't listen to what he did because of his woeful track record on things like swine flu. And so they actually were, had the confidence to stick to their own. And we know the WHO guidance beforehand was exactly, as you said, remarkably similar to actually what the Great Barrington Declaration that was launched in October 20 uh, said. And yet those of us that tried to advocate that in those early months, I mean, the pain and the smears and the, mm -hmm. you know, the attacks that we got was awful. 